And later, Barona Resort's executive chef, Jim Phillips, is here with a preview of their Easter Sunday brunch. Welcome back this morning. Easter Sunday will be celebrated next weekend. And if you haven't made reservations for Easter brunch, you'll get a mouth-watering view of what Barona Casino is offering up. Chef Jim Phillips is here this morning. And I, Hi, this is a fantastic recipe you're going to prepare for us. Good morning. How are you today? Before we get to the recipe, good, very good. Tell us about the buffet at Barona. Okay, there's a couple of things going on. We have a really big buffet there. And that is a special thing on Easter, twenty nine ninety five. And it has thousands of really cool things on it. Just a great display of a lot of different things, Easter style food that we mm -hmm. add to the brunch. And twenty nine ninety five is really good for Easter brunch. But even better than that, mm -hmm. we have another brunch, a little brunch downstairs that is in the Italian restaurant that's nineteen ninety five and an additional five dollars if you if you like champagne. Ooh, okay. And that's for twenty one and over. All right. And so we do a really nice little uh, buffet thing down okay. there and then you can, in our new restaurants. And then you can hit the slots and do some fun gambling. All right, yeah. you're making something for us here today, okay. and uh, everybody is so curious about this. What are what what is this dish called? This is a, a strata, and a strata, strata. In, in Italian means layers. Mm -hmm. So what we're doing is we're setting up bread, slices of sourdough bread that get soaked in 50% wine, 50% milk. 50% wine, 50% white, white wine, I'm assuming. White wine right? and little milk. Then you layer it here. What we've done is put a layer down first. Then we've added the sautéed asparagus, mushrooms, and leeks. Oh, delicious. And then some roasted red peppers. And I also see you have some basil leaves on basil there, too. Basil leaves go down. And then the nice uh, grafted white cheddar. Then what we do is we just soak the bread real quick, and then you wring it out a little bit so it's not too oh, wet. Sort of like making French toast in yeah, a way, right? Yeah, there you go. Mm -hmm. That's the idea. And then that, so what then does the bread, we'll, the bread do? Does it sort of solidify? And Well, when we pour the egg over the dish and bake it in the oven at mm -hmm. 325 for about 35 minutes, it sets up like this. So it almost looks like a quiche, but actually the layers are bread with all the nice vegetables. And as you said, this is a traditional Italian dish. Very nice Italian mm -hmm. dish. All right. So we just continue that. The other thing we've done today is we've taken a version of Eggs Benedict, lightened it up considerably, and what we've done is poach some eggs, put them on English muffins with yeah, some yeah. smoked salmon. Then what we've do done is we've taken these ingredients here, which is onions, garlic, roasted pepper, and tomatoes, and roasted that blended it and we've created this sauce right here oh that looks fabulous very light so you're not making hollandaise for your benedict anymore does you're it, doing this really light vegetable based sauce does it have a little bit of a latin flair though to it because definitely of the peppers? Mm -hmm. definitely has a little latin flair to it we've taken some capers and fried them crispy and we're finishing that with a little crispy caper. And to fry up the, do you just put that in with some oil there? Just a little oil. You dry the capers well, first. Okay. You fry them for a good amount of time till they open up like a little flower. Oh, that's fantastic. So, Are we going to add the egg here to this? We're going to add the egg to this, actually. Yeah, we're going to just finish up okay. by adding our peppers, a little bit of cheese. And so how many eggs did you use for a recipe this is of this actually, size? This is actually 14 eggs right 14. here. Okay, and a little more than a dozen. Probably a little more than a dozen is what it's going to take to get that done. And if you have, like, other vegetables, you can put that in, right? You Definitely. can sort of play we with use, this, do what you like. In season, we use tomatoes. We use mm -hmm. all kinds of different vegetables, whatever's in season. So we chose mushrooms, right. leeks. And let's pour that egg and on there. we pour the egg over this. Yes. There you go. It should look just like and that as you put it in the oven. Once again, gonna, it's in the oven at 325 for 30 About to 35 40? to 40 minutes. Okay. And you know it's done when it looks like this. Like this. Exactly. Uh, it comes out nice and brown. There we got nice. the eggs. See, look at that. There you go. All right, Chef Jim. Let's remind everybody. There we Easter go. Sunday brunch Easter at Verona. Easter Sunday at Verona. Two options for you. Two options. We have the big buffet and the smaller buffet. All right. For over 21. Well, I, I'm sure you have tempted a lot of people at home this morning. You definitely we tempted all of, all of our technicians in the studio. Even the lawyer in blue jeans is eyeing some of that food over here. Now it's, comes the real work. I've got to feed everybody I, here. I know. How many people do you expect? Oh, uh, at brunch, not here. Well, here, let's see. Let's count. <laughs> no, at uh, Easter brunch. Oh, uh, Easter will do about uh, 3,500 to 4,000 in the big wow. buffet and probably about 600 in the smaller buffet. Now that is some work. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming in today. It's a pleasure, Bridget. In advance. Thanks all for right. having me. Still ahead this morning on Good Morning San Diego. They, they are the champions of the Rubik's.